Death does not discriminate between a king and a servant, between a man or a woman, rich, poor, adult, child, sick, healthy, rich, poor. Every single one of you will die. And that is why it is scary. Because we don't know when death overtakes us. We can't guarantee that. We've only been guaranteed death itself. But not how. Not where. Not when. And that's what's scary. It's scary that we don't know. And it's scary because we know that we sin. And we don't want to die when we sin. It's very easy if we did know when we will pass. Because then maybe we could focus on what is important and that is getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then we can focus on what is important. That is praying, fasting, and reading the Qur'an, remembering Allah. But we don't. We forget. When we forget, we are careless. And when we're careless, death will overcome us. Death does not discriminate between the pious and the wretched. Death does not discriminate if you are striving to get closer to Allah or you're fleeing away from Allah. It does not discriminate. It doesn't discriminate whether you wear the hijab or you've taken it off or never worn it in the first place. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't discriminate if you want to follow the sunnah or attack the sunnah. Reality is, is that white cloth the last thing that you will be wrapped in before you are placed in the grave? That white cloth, that is your reality. That is the provision that you will take from this dunya and only that the watch that you've been wearing on your hand, the ring on your finger, the perfume on your body, no choice to you. The hijab, my sister, choose or don't. And the day that you are washed, they will cover your hair, they will cover your face. Whether you've chosen or not, death does not discriminate. Al Bayan Radio, the voice of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah.